Hey guys, FNAF fan 2001 here. F it's now. What is it? It's now 12 19 a.m. <laughs> Took a lot longer than I thought to get the bed up. But I am. I can now show you. Uh, this is my room. I'll explain everything that's in this room um, in the next clip. I'm probably going to have to edit this a lot. Okay, it only makes sense to go by one by one. There, Here's this shelf. That is just a random... That's not my clothes basket, but I'm using that for right now to hold stuff. Um, so, that's a review. And all of this is a review. I'm going to film that... Uh, here in a second um yeah this is where most of my FNAF books are gonna go I want your opinion on this one cause I am an inbox protector of pops that's what this box and that box is and I also have a box over there but this box is so mangled up and stuff and I've tried to keep it this I've displayed it out of the box and I think it looks better like that but I also want to keep the box so what I might do is I might keep it by a soft cover protector and put it in there I don't know For right now it's staying there that's some of my writing stuff I haven't opened it yet because I already my other one is at the house um, here's the U2's that I have so far I'll have to review that later um here's a signed pop from the voice actor that voices spider-man in the ps4 game spider-man <laughs> uh haven't had it authenticated yet mainly because they didn't show up to weebcon and that's a whole nother story um which i do plan to get to by the end of 2022 because it affected not only me but it also affected blonde freak um, but here are two out of box pops. The only way I keep them out of box is if the box is badly damaged, like that one. Um, but you got Daryl and the Librarian Ghost. You had these two. I kept these in the uh, sticker. No, I just noticed that one's missing the sticker. I know I have another one. I don't know where it is right now. But, um,. I want to get another one in box of this one so I can add it to the collection. And again, I don't think this is where it's going to stay. Um, here's most of my plushies. Not most. Here's some. Um, I'm leaving that spot open and that spot open. Mainly for what we're going to be reviewing here shortly. Um, these are all the customs that I'm going to be doing. Toy Bonnie, Shadow Freddy... That one's a surprise. Chica. Uh, Toy Freddy. Um, some of these are my books. That's also a uh, another um, video, but the other package hasn't arrived yet. Uh, here's the little Funko Minis. Here's the action figures. This is just a makeshift shelf for right now. This is my bed. Of course, it's messy because um, <laughs> I just put it up. Um, let me see if I can zoom in here. You got my artist, Moon. You got his artwork right there. Uh, you got that artwork. Um, you have Toy Foxy and Alf right there. Um, we have all of these plushies up here. Uh, I made it from Security Breach all the way to the new gang. Um, and then the two plushies... For security breach and captain foxy and then that's the rest of my plushies that i have yet to put somewhere um here is some autographs that i still need to put in separate frames uh one is uh richard epcar that voices old joseph joestar in jojo's bizarre adventure and behind behind it um i have 
Aaron's, the voice actor that does pl that plays Aaron, I got his signature. Of course, I had to get it on a um, Attack on Titan poster. Uh, here's some other shelves that I have yet to deal with. And here's my pin board for the... I'm going to put all the Funko uh, FNAF stuff on here, but that's just some, some gifts that I got. Some Ghostbusters, because... I have quite, I have almost all but two of the Ghostbusters pops, because Ghostbusters is my favorite movie. I have a fan-made art piece, the first ever fan-made art piece of my avatar, Tony. Uh, just a little drawing that I made, uh, random stuff that I have found, <laughs> and all my pins down at the bottom. Yeah, don't ask me what the skeleton and the cross is doing there. I have no idea. I just figured, hey, why not put it there? Um, and, yeah, that's my room so far. Which, of course, things may change. This may end up over here, or th this might end up over here. I don't know. But, um, so far, that's where things are going to go. And, yeah. Oh, and, um... That closet is empty and it has no light, so I'm not going to show you. This one does. And first off, that was already here whenever we moved in. I plan on using them because they're all empty for the most part. I think it has the paper in there. Oh, and some tags and stuff. Okay, well. I plan on using them to store my Pokemon cards they're like the right shape but here's all of my monopoly collection so far um you got bibleopoly animal crossing the town my hometown um i visited there and i went to their walmart and found it um i got a target monopoly stranger things monopoly fortnite monopoly the classic monopoly uh, Christmas Opoly. I even have a mini Monopoly, which if you guys haven't seen it. It's so freaking cute. It's the world's smallest Monopoly. Look at this. Look at the houses and the tokens. This is my hand. I need here. Have this to scale. A plush. Look how tiny this is. <laughs> and then the dice are even smaller. Um, but yeah, I'll just keep that. I'll have to put that up. Uh, I got Five Nights at Freddy's Monopoly and Ghostbusters Monopoly, which I might get copyright for this, but that might be on the other side. It plays that. So then I got a Funko shelf for some of my pops. Yeah. And that's the room tour, for the most part. <laughs> like I said, it might change, but um, yeah. If you guys like this video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hopefully we can, uh, oh, and I did move. And I do plan on building a, um, a building in the back so that I can put even more of my collectibles because I can tell you, all of the stuff that I have will not fit in this room. <laughs> like, that's not even... This is not my entire FNAF collection at all. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys like this video, hit the like button down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.